What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Curry Spice back with another video. And I'm gonna talk about what it's like to be popular. So, in the very beginning of my life, in school, I was not popular. And when I say school, I mean K through 12. I was not popular at all. I wanted to be popular and I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know, I didn't think I would ever be popular, to be honest with you. Um, I just thought that I didn't have the charm to pull it off. I didn't have the beauty to pull it off. I wasn't around the right people to, to make popularity happen. I, I didn't know what it took, but I just knew that I didn't have the obvious factors such as good looks, things like that. I was very awkward. And on top of that, I was teased because I've lived in an underprivileged community growing up. Uh, it was primarily African American and I was teased for acting white. I think my popularity, it didn't come until much later in life when I started to develop confidence and um, I know this has started around the time I started college. Once I started at college, um, I became more active. I was getting out of my shell a lot more and meeting new people, um, experiencing different things and traveling more, putting myself out there when it comes to meeting people and just really just throwing myself uh into the mix socially just i mean it didn't come easy it did not come easy but now i can do it more effortlessly without second guessing myself and i think before i was very closeted and i didn't know how to open myself up socially but um college has opened the door for me big time as far as being more social and not being afraid to speak. And then I'm not saying I have it a hundred percent down because I still have my moments, but for the most part, I've definitely evolved. Like I definitely am like not where I started. Like I've, Ooh, it was a huge transition, but I made it. And um, once I graduated college, and when I say graduated, I mean community college and then also um, the university, just recently actually, within the last year, I graduated from Cal State Long Beach. And now I'm even more out of my shell than when I had graduated community college around the time I started college was a year after I started my natural hair journey I started my natural hair journey and that has helped me with my confidence big time and um And with my natural hair, not only has it helped me with my popularity, well, it, it's helped with my popularity because it gave me confidence. In order to be popular, I feel like you need confidence. And 
with my natural hair, it helped me celebrate my African Americanness. It helped me celebrate my heritage, and that's just what I needed to appreciate being black. Um, and I did not expect to be popular late in my life, you know? And it's not really late, you know? Like, when I say late, I'm thinking, like, I should have been popular around the time I was in high school, you know? This is way past high school. <laughs> you know what I mean? But as they say, they say better late than never. So I'm very grateful for the popularity. And I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to be a nerd. And I know what it feels like to be unpopular. And it feels horrible. It just feels like you're stepped on. It feels like you're undervalued. It feels like... It feels like you don't have a place. You feel like an outsider. And to some degree, I still feel like that. Because not everybody understands me. And that's fine. Because I'm not meant to be understood by everybody. Because um, that's impossible. Everyone can't be on your side. It just its not going to work. Even though it sounds fun, but no. Um, and there's a big part of me that really... I like being the outsider to some extent. I Actually, I enjoy it because I like to be different, number one. And number two, it makes me stand out. And even as a popular girl, I stand out. There are times where I'm going to the store... I can't even like, I can't even just shop for a carton of milk <laughs> without being stopped about my beauty or just something about my aura that people find intriguing and it's refreshing, it really is. Um, and then when I speak. That brings it to a whole nother level because it's like, oh wow, you have a you have a winning personality and you're beautiful. Oh I can't let you go. <laughs> you know? So um like I'm very down to earth and I think a lot of people appreciate that. Um so about my popularity, my natural hair um played a big part in that. And then also, college has helped. Um, and then also, just being open to new experiences and not being afraid to just go out and meet new people. Do whatever you need to do. If you need to get a new job or maybe have two jobs. And put yourself in an environment where you're always meeting new people. Um, start a YouTube channel. When I started the YouTube channel, or actually months after I started, there was my Facebook viral situation that happened. And that's when I noticed, that's when I really noticed that there was a trend with me like some kind of popularity within me that was brewing. Like I, the people were always tell me I have this celebrity aura about me. And I just kind of took it with a grain of salt. Like I thought, okay, you know, it sounds nice and they might be right, but I wasn't really trying to cash out on that because my confidence wasn't all the way there yet. But now that I had graduated college with a bachelor's um, and then the 45 pound weight loss, um, that has also helped me big time. Um, and then going out with friends, going out to clubs, going out dancing, um, meeting new people, um, meeting mentors, um, people who can guide me, all of those elements 
really helped me. It really helped me develop confidence. And now I'm on this personal growth journey. Well, I've been on it for the last few months. But now it's at the point where... Like, I went from really wanting to be around people. Like, I felt desperate to have people around me. And now it's at the point where I can really appreciate my alone time. I actually, like, I prefer to have my alone time. Um, and, like, I thrive on it. I thrive on having alone time. You feel like a celebrity and you get even more confidence because people keep feeding you. They keep feeding your ego. Um, they keep telling you how amazing you are for all these different reasons, you know? You're beautiful, you're smart, you're, you know, you're this, you're that. Your personality is winning and it's good to hear those things because it's like, not that you need the confirmation, but it still feels just really validating and you have to kind of be careful to not get conceited because if you don't like if you're not careful if you like take those compliments to the head it could easily make you conceited and I always wanted to be like a humble kind of person and I try to be as humble as possible um, so, and I think for the most part, I am pretty humble. Um, I have my moments where I'm a little extra confident, but for the most part, I'm very humble. I try to stay down to earth as much as possible because you can't really take things for granted in life because just because you're popular now doesn't mean you're always going to be popular. Things trend, you know, things are always trending. And just like there was a period in time where I wasn't trending and now I am trending. And then one day I won't be trending anymore. It's just that, like, that's just how it works. And I hate to say that, but it's realistic. Um, but for the moment, um, when I started my YouTube channel, that helped. And then also, um, my fashion sense has helped. Uh, my fashion has always evolved throughout the years. And with the weight loss and meeting new people and being in college where I could constantly express my fashion sense, those were avenues that helped me blossom into the woman that I am because I would play on whatever feedback I was getting about my outfit so you know people like I built this anticipation in people where they couldn't wait to find out what I would wear the next day <laughs> so and I actually I really enjoyed doing that and that's when I really really knew that I love fashion um, and surprisingly, I didn't love fashion on, enough to take it up in school. Even though I did consider it, I did consider it. Um, but to do a fashion minor, I didn't want to take on an extra two years. And that's for a minor. That's not for a degree. That's for a, a, a minor or cert certification in fashion. But anyway, and I was so afraid of math. I was afraid that there would be math in fashion. And, you know, I went with, I went with English. Well, because I, lo I do love to write too, but I went with English because it's, it's very anti-math. <laughs> but that's like, that's another story right there. A few months after I started, my YouTube channel at the Facebook viral situation happened and that was right after I was 
taking Gary V's advice about buying Facebook ads and promoting myself. And then there was a picture that I included in the ad and it was a picture of myself. Um, and I was at one of the Enagic rooftop events in November of last year, which was 2018. And something about that photo went viral and now I have, I have access to 5,000 people, like on my Facebook, like I have like, but I only added just under 5,000 of them, you know, friends on Facebook. And, um, <sighs> I didn't have a lot of friends. I started like when that viral situation happened. I only had like maybe like just over 550 friends. So I went from that to almost like 5,000. Um, actually over 5,000 if you count the people I haven't added yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, that was a confidence boost when that happened. And these are people from all around the world, like these 5,000 people. So it's like, when that happened, that made me think, okay, all these people who were telling me that I had celebrity potential, like, I think they're on to something. Like, it was like a light bulb in my head. I'm like, hmm, okay. I think there's something about me that I need to cash in on. Like, I need, I need to, like, own it, and I need to, like, like, embrace it in every possible way and ride it out, like do whatever I need to do to ride the wave, like, like, like put on, like grab my surfing board and just ride this wave out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Like I am milking it, whatever this celebrity persona is within me, I'm milking it. And for 2019, I'm like modeling, like I'm back into modeling and I did not have that plan for this year. I did not have that plan at all. Um, so that is just so interesting how that happened. But the modeling just came out of nowhere. And now I'm like getting these like sh um, gigs to, to walk in fashion shows. And, you know, I did a photo shoot opportunity here and there and there's more in the future uh like two or three photographers i'm talking to i also landed a fashion show where i'm sure it's probably going to lead to other opportunities because then i'll be working with um probably end up working with companies like forever 21 and things like that with this one coming up so i'm really excited about that so i'm excited um, but, um, what it feels like to be popular, it feels reassuring, it feels validating, it feels like you don't want, like you don't want this feeling to end, like you just want it to go on and on forever, like you feel unstoppable, you feel so authoritative it's like a sense of power that you get like you just have like this dusting off your shoulders like nobody can't tell me nothing like you you just got it like you have this it factor and it feels incredible um it makes me feel like a celebrity i get this special treatment i can you know i can get free drinks i can get free meals depending on who I talk to. Um, but it's not, it's not just about looks. It's, it's looks with the personality. It's both. So, um, cause like I said, I'm a very down to earth person and I could be the New York side of me. I can be a bit blunt. <laughs> and I think that kind of catches people off guard and they don't know what to do with that. They're like, whoa <laughs> okay <laughs> the things about being popular 
that I don't quite like is um feels like a tug of war like I'm just like I'm I'm being pulled to the left I'm being pulled to the right and then people they get upset when you don't have time for them and and this is people I know people I don't know like because I'm, I'm not just popular but I'm also busy so it's like like, I, I want my own time to regroup. Like, I like to use the weekends to regroup, collect myself, and kind of separate from the rat race of the world. I hate the rat race. I hate it. I need that alone time to help me regroup because that's how I keep my sanity. But then when I'm too busy, it's hard for me to jump from one activity to another and not kind of go insane um, because I'm not getting that mental break. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know people in my life who get upset and this is people I know, people I don't know. They get upset because I don't allocate enough time for them. And there are a handful of people who do matter. Their opinion does matter. Um, and I do need to allocate more time. I had the tendency to get obsessive when there's something I'm really trying to go for. There's something I'm really trying to go for. And... I just drop everything I'm doing. It's like, okay, I'm working like a maniac just to make sure this dream comes true. And <clears throat> I'm not going to stop until my goal has been reached kind of vibe. Um, so it could be kind of obsessive in a sense. Um, and then I also have my moment where I, I, I have my moments where I died down from that. I was like, okay, let me work a little on this and then take a little break and then might not go back to it for weeks and I might, you know, but, um, the thing about being popular is it might have more pros and cons but you can't let it get to your head. You have to know that things always trend. They're in, they're trending, then suddenly they're not. Um, being popular, you have to not abuse your power. Um, don't let it get to your head. Stay humble and make sure you spend enough time with people who matter. Um, unless you have like a desperate situation where you really just need to just, just hone in on whatever goal you have, then, I mean, you have to use your best judgment. Um, do what you need to do, but just know that there's people out there who want to spend time with you and there might be a handful of people who do matter. So you want to make sure you don't repel them. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about like family and maybe like really close friends, like best friends, like people who are practically family kind of um, idea. So that's something to think about. Um, my phone is always blowing off the hook like because of Facebook I always have people calling me people from all around the world just calling me and even like waking me up out of my sleep and it could be very overwhelming and even annoying to some degree because sometimes like the, the introverted part of me like I just want that time to kind of center myself and and like pull like a Deepak Chopra and just like okay 
let me regroup because I've had a stressful week. Like, let me just take a day or two and just center myself, meditate. But then I can't because of all my ringtones in the background coming from my phone. And it's, I have to take a lot of time to myself. Um, which I'm actually really good at doing that. I'm really good at it, ignoring my phone. <laughs> I'm really good at ignoring my phone. Um, so, and I'm not ignoring, like I do engage with people, but I do it on my own terms. I do it when I'm ready for it. And, uh... I don't like to feel pressured to do things. I never like that. And I think some people who don't really understand me may have the tendency to bully me into contacting them. Like, how dare you be so busy? Because I think some people get threatened by a busy woman um, because they have the tendency to, it's, well, Men, from my experience, not it's not all men, but the 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 men who are on my Facebook, um, the ones I've come in contact with, they have the tendency to either be threatened by me because I'm so busy, because then it's like I'm self contented, I don't need anyone else, or they're trying to get something from me, and I'm so busy that they can't. They're not able to score me uh, or win me. And and I'm not a person to be won. Like, I am my own person. And I'm already in a relationship. And uh, I'm not trying to look for anything else. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not recruiting for, <laughs> for new opportunities in that department um so it's all about being self-content and i'm getting a lot closer to that um and i think with the popularity has helped me become more self-content because i wasn't always like that before because so many people want to chat me up and i don't and i don't mean in in the romance sense necessarily but so many people want to chat me up that I really appreciate my alone time. Like, I really appreciate it. So, I like to put myself into the social pool, mingle with people. Because I do, I love people. I do love people. But then I have my moments where I want to step away from people and, like, okay, like, gauge. Like, okay, I think I can really use some alone time right now. So I'm actually really good with that. But um, and I'm, I'm not afraid to take my alone time. I'm not afraid to at all. When I feel like I need it, I need it. Um, but yeah, so that's how it feels to be popular. If there's anything I haven't covered, just let me know down below as always. And this is such a loaded topic. I could talk, I could probably talk for an hour on this topic. I'm looking forward to spicing up your life one episode at a time as always and take care.